Shay here. And today is my, y'all know it's my favorite. I feel like I say that every time, but it really is my favorite. Today is hump day. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Today's Wednesday for me slash Thursday for you. And that means whip and chat time. So if you're not familiar with what WIP stands for, it's W-I-P stands for work in progress. So y'all get out whatever you're working on. Um, this is my WIP right now. I'm doing festival DP Festival of Witches and Drills and Chills 2021. So I've got this cute little witch from Star Or, and I'll list her in the description along with everything else that I'm using. Okay, and y'all get a drink. Get your whips, get your, you know, whatever you y'all need to work on. I go for about an hour. So strap in. Let's catch up. I've got some water um, in my tumbler, my Mrs. Coffee tumbler that's always here next to me. Sorry, y'all. I got the burps. I just took like a huge sip of water before I started, which was probably a mistake. And I've got my coffee in. Oh, I better not. Oh, is this making y'all nervous? <laughs> it's making me nervous. Um, this is one of my Starbucks cups and this is from Singapore, one of the places that we travel to whenever we lived out in China. I live out in China, lived over in China. Um, my oldest, uh, both the boys played baseball over there and Ryan had a baseball tournament over Thanksgiving in Singapore. And so we got to spend Thanksgiving in Singapore and it was really, really cool. Super hot but we really love Singapore. Um, they speak English over there and it's just more Americanized um, than Shanghai, which is where we were living at the time. So yes, 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 yes. Okay, you guys, first things first. I've got several things to talk about. I've got a lot of notes written down. I'm just gonna, oh, whoa, 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 what's on my painting? I don't even know what that is. We'll just, we'll just shake that right off. Okay, so I've got several things to talk about. I've got a page of notes. This looks crooked to me. My OCD is kicking in. Oh my gosh, y'all. Speaking of OCD, my husband and I discovered that I have OCD. I mean, I already kind of knew that, but he was like listening all... So he looked it up. How it all started was we have in the fridge, whenever I put the bottles of water in there and the sodas and whatever else, um, I always make sure the labels are facing outwards so you can read what they are. And I do that with the Cokes, with the cans, with everything. And he noticed it and he said, so he goes, that's your OCD. I'm like, I'm not OCD. He goes, hold on a second. So he pulls up the, um, he pulls it up online. He Googles it and we're just kind of like, yep, that's me. Yep. Yep. And I kind of just, I didn't mark, I mean, there's different levels of it. Uh, but I definitely have a, I'm definitely, um, in there in, in the range. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> so, um, it's funny because now every, every, every time I do something, I'm like, oh my God, is that my OCD? So yeah, it's kind of made me a little paranoid, but hey, as I see it, OCD is not a bad thing. It keeps the house tidy. I like things a certain way. It's good. I think it's a good thing to have. So, all right, you guys. Um, first thing I've got on my list, which by the way, I'm using my journal that I did. Works out great for taking all my notes for everything. Um, I got a couple of coffees bought for me this past week. So I wanted to give a shout out to those folks, uh, Savon and Jane Ann. Thank y'all both very much. Um, the coffees are a great way for y'all to do a one-time donation to the channel. And I really do appreciate it. Um, you know, cause you know, buying stuff for the channel gets expensive, you know, cause we want to show you all the things. And so any little bit helps. And then speaking of that, for donations and things that help the channel, I also, um, for y'all that don't know, I kicked off my, um, I opened up a Patreon. And as of the first, I started it because they charge you the first of the month. So small plug here, I do have a Patreon. And I waited about a week and y'all, I've got seven people. People actually signed up. So i um, super excited about that. I did my first, I did a welcome video yesterday and posted that, posted that to my Patreons and kind of just, you know, welcome them and thank them and see, you know, what they wanted to see out of my videos and what they're looking for. And just a kind of a meet and greet, if you will. And then I'm getting to know some of those Patreons with their responses. So I'm so excited about meeting more people in the community. So if y'all are interested, um, again, no, no obligations, you know, y'all just watching, liking, commenting, all the things is, is all you need to be doing. But if you would like to support the channel, that link will be down below. Okay. So thanks again for the coffees. Thanks to the Patreons that have signed up. 
I really, really do appreciate it. Um, oh, I know what I was going to do. Well, hold on a second. I'm going to grab something real quick. I just noticed on my notes there was something I was going to do and I forgot to grab it. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. So I had a couple of comments recently about um, how to, how, asking me how to do something, and my mom was actually one of them. And I think I described it in one of my last videos. I think it was my last whip and chat. My mom um, wasn't sure how to do the micro glue dots, and I've had a few other people ask me. So I just wanted to do it real quick and show y'all how I load. This is a brand new pen that I've never used yet. I'm saving it for like a mermaid painting or something that, you know, it's just not really fall, so I'm going to save it. But this is from Diamond Pen Pal and it has no wax in it, it's brand new. So, and this is the tin I got from um, Jenny, the Uncrafty Crafter, and she got this from Shine, oh, Beth over at Shine Shop Designs on Etsy. So I'll link that, and what I do is I just keep my glue dots um, in here, micro, y'all, that's the key, and I'll have them listed down below, micro glue dots are the ones you need to get. My mom was using just the regular glue dots, so I just store them in here. And okay, so let me show y'all real quick how to load them. Where are they? I need to tear off some excess that I have that I haven't used yet. Okay, I'm starting to feel the sticky. All right, these are, this is just extra paper. All right, so hopefully y'all can see them. They're little. Let me just point one out. Can y'all see them? Kind of, sort of. They're just little bitty dots on here. It's even, they're, they're not really picking up on the camera. See the reflection of that one? They're in there. I wonder if y'all can see them. But they're just, there we go. There's just some little bitty itty dots, okay? They're just sticky little, like little boogers, <laughs> if you will. And what I do is, I know everybody does them differently. I just kind of lay it flat, okay? And I just kind of hold on to it. And what I do is, I just take my pen and I just scrape one of the dots. See how it's on there? Can y'all see that? I just kind of scrape one of them into there. And then I get my tweezers and I just kind of fold it into there, okay? Just kind of fold it, and then I use my finger, and of course, just kind of, you know, smush it down in there, okay? Um, I normally do about two and a half dots. I say two and a half because I kind of pull out the excess of the third one. So you just kind of push that down in there. And I know if you're using stainless steel tips, you might want to be careful with tweezers because I, I don't know if they can damage them. I just use the brass tips. I do have um, some stainless steel tips, but um, this is just one of the brass tips that comes with the, the pens. So you just push it down in there with your tweezers, okay? And it's ready for another one. So I go ahead and just scrape this real quick. Just get it, just scrape it halfway on my pen, okay? It's a little extra something on there, okay? There it is. See, he's just kind of barely hanging on. I just kind of scraped him a little bit. Hopefully y'all can see this, there he is. And then I just kind of use my finger and my tweezers, you know, either one, and just kind of fold it into there. You're just stuffing them. I like to use the tweezers to kind of make sure he's down in there. So I just put the tweezers together and just push it down in there. Sometimes two's enough, uh, but to really make sure that it's to, all the way to the top, sometimes I like to do a third and then I just rip off the excess. But um, two to three is all you normally need. But two seems to be pretty loaded. You'll see that? I mean, it's, and they're pretty good. Yeah. See, and it's sticky. Let's do, now do a little test. Can y'all hear that? Okay. So yeah, there we go. So mom, that's how you load micro glue dots. And for the a few other folks that had asked, I said I would show you in my next whip and chat. So that's all you do. Micro glue dots are the best, y'all. In my opinion, um, I, 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 I can go a long time, a really long time without changing out anything they last forever so they're definitely a game changer and I would recommend using them so that's what I use some people put them in their multi-placer as well I just use pink wax or blue wax I've never done them in my multi-placer I've been wanting to but I just haven't done it yet so you can even do that okay so that's awesome now this pin will be ready to go whenever it's time to use it I'm thinking a mermaid painting all right so that was something, one thing I wanted to show y'all real quick I hope I hope you don't mind Okay, what else? Oh yeah, gosh y'all, there's all these things I was gonna show you and I forgot to grab them. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back again. Can y'all tell I was not prepared for this video? So note to self, read through my notes that I made several days ago before I start filming. Okay, so I got this purple bag. 
Yes. So y'all know if you watched one, my the last few of my videos, I went to Craftably on Saturday to volunteer. And when I was there, it was my first time to go to their shop, their storefront. And so I bought some stuff and I wanted to show y'all what I got. I got some really cute stuff. Some's gift, some, some's gifts. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Some of these are gonna be gifts. So they have these keychains, these initials. So I got an S for someone and you just diamond paint them. It comes with everything you need. So it's got crystals, okay. And it does have a little hole on top. So it's even got the little ring because it's a, it's a um, again, it's a keychain. So they got letters. I got a couple different letters. I got an H and I got an S for a couple of people. And then Lou has a birthday party coming up. And this little girl, when she's been over the house before, has been very, very interested in what I'm working on and my diamond painting stuff. So I got this um, that she can give to the little girl. It's a DIY cupcake keychains. And so she can just diamond paint the keychains and put them on her backpack or, yeah. So this is going to be a birthday present for, the, for a little girl. Packaged up really nice. It's got the instructions on the back. So I thought these were really cute. So I got those. And what else? Yeah, I wanted to show you all my little haul. Oh yeah, I got some cards. There's um, there's birthday cards in here and all the things. So there's even like a wedding day one. There's like a variety of um, Christmas uh, cards in here with envelopes and you just get to diamond paint them and it comes with everything you need. So I grabbed those. We always need, you know, kids birthday cards and okay, I thought this was so pretty. I got this little bag. It's almost like a, like a little purse, like a clutch. It's so cute. Figure maybe Lou can do it or maybe I'll keep it or maybe gives it as a gift or maybe for a giveaway, we'll see. Um, but yeah, you just diamond paint this centerpiece. See, it's got the plastic on it. I thought it was so cute. And it's got everything inside that you need. It's got the toolkit. Here's all the drills. Really, really pretty. So I grabbed this because that was something different that I don't have. Cute. And y'all, I went shopping when I was there. It was fun. I was like, oh, okay, I got one more thing. And then I got this really pretty um, pencil box. I thought I can use it for accessories or for waxes or things, or maybe Lou can use it. But um, yeah, I don't have anything like this either. I don't have a pencil box. So I just diamond paint all this. And it's got a cute, oh, that's really cute. Only half of it opens. Okay, I'll go ahead and rip the plastic off that side and everything's inside you need. And it's a good size box, you guys. Yeah, I might keep that for myself. So yeah, that's what I got at Craftably from their store. And uh, if you haven't gone to their website recently, I was on there yesterday because um, I was doing some product review videos for them and I was getting some details on a couple of paintings that I was um, unboxing. And uh, they have a lot of new stuff. They have a lot of this kind of stuff on their website. A lot of accessories and fun little fun projects. So um, I'll link them down below. And if y'all aren't interested in any of their stuff, you don't have to go to their shop. They had um, a lot of different stuff on there. Hopefully it's not sold out. So um, I'll put that in there. Okay, so guess what guys? You know there's been some tag questions going around and I got tagged. Yes, I, I was hoping I was gonna get tagged. I was waiting and waiting. I'm like, am I gonna get tagged? Am I not? Um, Jeremy, brother Jeremy over at JTMJ Crafts um, and I love his videos. He is so fun to listen to. So I'll link him down, down in the description. If y'all haven't, if you're not familiar with who he is, he's awesome. He makes me laugh. I love watching his videos. He does live streams every week. Uh, but he tagged me and a few other people. So there's been some tag questions going around and I think crafting with Susie was the one that may have started the, the tag. So I'm going to answer the questions. I think there's five of them. I wrote them all down. Yeah, there's five questions and then I have some people to tag, okay? And I'll put their names like in the description so they can see who they are. And so maybe it'll catch their eye and I'll you know put them on Instagram too so they'll, they'll get tagged that way. All right, you guys, I wrote them all down. I just used a few to-do lists. I should have used my journal. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, am I ever gonna get to diamond painting? I think we're just hanging out. It's fine, right? Yeah, it's fine. No one really ever watches anyways. Well. Some people do. And when I do start diamond painting, I'll zoom in because I know some people like to see close up. Which, by the way, we haven't even really talked about this painting. Let's talk about her real quick. So, got the first row done. 
All I have to do in this last section is our hats right here. And there's a little patch here and a few patches here. And then I'm on to the third row, third and final. And then I'm gonna be finished. So I'm gonna be down, but I'm gonna be, you know, turning her upside down all around. So yes, she is coming together. And I've been having a good time working on this one. Yeah, I even took it to the park with me. And uh, it, I love the size. It's so portable. I can just like take it wherever. And also I've had some people ask me, um, and I'll put it down in the description, of course. Um, this, this pad I'm using that's magnetic. You can see I can just stick anything to it. It holds my paintings down. Um, I got this desk cover from Ikea. I can zoom out a little bit if y'all want to see it. Keep going, keep going. Oh, it won't go anymore. But it's just, yeah, it's just one of those, you know, desk covers. And it's all magnetic. So I just use like my trash tray. Oh my goodness, strong magnets. My trash tray sticks to it. I mean, it's it's really good. So I love using this to diamond paint and especially for some of the smaller paintings, you know, everything fits on here. Okay, y'all, gotta keep it straight. All right, finally to the whip and chat questions. I mean, the, the tag questions, sorry. Okay, the first question, what is your favorite completed canvas? thought about that and there's two reasons why this is my favorite. It's uh, up on editing Shay, we'll put a picture uh, that'll pop up here. So y'all can see. It's uh, Undersea Dreaming. Uh, it's a diamond art club painting by Mandy Manzano. And it's the one that looks like Ariel. And you know, I love that one for the painting. And it also means a lot to me because that's the one that my dad and I, I'm gonna go ahead and start diamond painting while I answer these questions. Uh, that's the one my dad and I did the framing video for. He came over and helped me because he's really good at framing his diamond paintings. So um, yeah, that one is special because of the painting and because my dad and I framed it together. It's one of those floating frames. It turned out really good. So that's my favorite, um, I would say. If I had to pick one, it's always hard to just pick one though, you guys. All right, let me zoom in a little bit so we can see the section I'm working on. Look at her cute blue eyes. She's so cute. Ooh, some color blocking, look at this. That's gonna be easy. I'm gonna move over a little bit so my hand can get to it. Make sure y'all are zoomed in enough. How's that? Okay. Hopefully the shadow is not bothering you. There's a little bit of a shadow on this side. Actually, I'm gonna do like what I did last time. I can, ooh, that's really bright. I think that might be too bright for y'all, but it cuts out the shadow. Just gonna move y'all over a little bit. Excuse me, trying to set up y'all. This is real life though, real life. I didn't even tell y'all, it's about, what time is it here? It's about 11.45, so it's almost noon. So, you know, I have to pick up Lou at two, so I thought I would start filming now and, uh, you know, hopefully you know, have plenty of time to get my other stuff done, my chores. Okay, y'all, we're gonna put our first drill down. We're only, what, how many minutes in? It says 10 minutes right now, but I've paused twice and I've been talking a lot, so I don't even know what we're at. Okay, a diamond painting that I can't wait to start that is not part of an event. Okay, so this was a hard one too, but it means a lot because it was given to me by someone special. So I received a diamond painting for my 1,000 subscriber um, milestone. And that was from Sandra West, and it's a Dreamer Design painting, and it's called Winston. And it's actually a French Bulldog, but it looks like a Boston Terrier. I mean, it looks just like my dogs. So I love Winston. Winston's waiting for me, and I will get to him. I've got all my little cute, you know, doggy cover minders and... Yeah, so we'll get to Winston eventually, but that's a Dreamer Designs, and I did unbox that on the channel, so um, yeah, that's I'm going to say that's one that I'm looking forward to doing that's not part of an event. All right, um, what, 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 what? Oh, I know what I was going to I have a little note here. Um, it is Winston. Now, it was going to be a mermaid, because I haven't done a mermaid in a hot minute, y'all. I've been doing all these events. And if, you, if you're new, hi, welcome. Um, I love mermaids. I said it, I do. I love them very, very much. And I have a lot of mermaid paintings. And I haven't done one in a long time and I'm itching to do one. But there's an event coming up that's gonna be mermaid related, so I'm waiting. So that's, uh, yep, that's coming. 
and maybe we can talk about it for a second, unless that's another question. Oh, that's going to be another question. So we'll wait for that. So those are those questions. Okay. Number three, uh, who is your favorite diamond painting artist or artists? I put artists because I love Sheena Pike, um, Mandy Manzano and Gretel Lesky from Distracted by Diamond. She's done a lot of mermaid paintings for them. And I have all, I think there's four of them and I have all of them. I've only completed uh, one so far out of the four. So I'm looking, that's another one I'm looking forward to working on. But yeah, those are my favorite artists. I also like Simona Candini. She's done some really cute mermaid ones too, like Honey Mermaid. And um, there's another pastel one that DAC carries. I forget the name of it. It's like a, mer and I don't have it, but it's the mermaid on the um, like carousel horse. It's cute. All right. So those are my favorite. Okay. So here's, here we go. Number four, what event are you most looking forward to? This is where I can do a little plug on an event I'm going to be hosting. Randy, who is, you can call me butter here on YouTube. We are doing an event in March of next year. So y'all get ready. And this is the event I'm most looking forward to. It is mermaids and magic in March. Okay. So y'all mark your calendars. Um, if you don't have a mermaid already, go grab one. You've got a little bit of time, but um, be prepared. There's going to be lots of amazing prizes, great whip and chats, all the things. So we'd love to have you guys join. As it gets closer, I'll give y'all all the details. And, you know, right now, just want to at least, you know, pencil it in, start talking about it so y'all know it's coming. But that's when I'm going to do my mermaid painting. And this is the hard decision. Which mermaid painting will I do? <laughs> I don't know. I have, I wish I, I should count how many mermaid paintings I have. I don't even know. I've got a couple in mind, but I don't think I'll decide until it gets closer. But uh, there's J-Wall, one that I have that's Cancer. And I'm not a Cancer. I'm actually a Libra. And they haven't, J-Wall hasn't come out with her Libra one yet. I have seen, I have seen it. Um, another company carried it and I saw it and it's beautiful. But it doesn't have a mermaid, a mermaid in it. So, but anyways, I digress. Okay, I'm off, to, I'm off topic now. Let's see. Here we go. Number five. And this is the last question. Yes. And then I'll tell you who I'm tagging. So number five, what diamond painting goals do you have between now and the end of the year? So I've never, I know you should never say never, but it never ha it's happened once and it had never happened before. I have an uncompleted diamond painting. I'm one of those people that when I start something, I finish it. And I was only working on one diamond painting, maybe two, sometimes at a, at a time. And then I started working on events and that kind of changed some things because when that month is over, boom, if you haven't finished it, you're moving on to another one. So that's what happened with the JBG along the Jasmine Beckett Griffith event that I did with um, Emeralds and Fairy Lights, Lindsay, we did the, uh, that was in July and I did Valentine Masquerade and she was a big one. And y'all, I only have like a, one row left. So one of my goals is to finish her by the end of the year. And I hope Abigail, I know she had talked about it a while back, but I think she was going to do a no start November event. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm doing drills and chills and DP, you know, a festival of witches right now through October, but I think November is going to be my Valentine masquerade finish. I'd really like to finish that. I don't like, and like I said, that's never happened before. I've never, I don't have anything rolled up that's not finished. I don't have any whips that are just hanging out. Oh, that sounded bad. Anyways, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't have anything that's unfinished and I don't like that. It's bothering me that it's just like not done. You know, I haven't checked it off the list yet. So, um, yes, that's one of my goals. Okay. You guys, you ready to see who I'm going to tag now? If some of these folks have already been tagged before, um, I apologize. I just, I don't know who all has done it yet. It's hard to keep, keep it all straight. If you've already done it, you're good. You're off the hook. So I'm tagging Randy. You can call me butter, tag your it, and then I want to tag. Now, I don't know if this is allowed or not, but who cares, right? There's no like official rules, not that I know of. She, This person's not a creator, but she does have Instagram, and I would love to hear her responses and her answers to get to, get to know her a little bit more, and that's Sandra West. So Sandra, tag your it. Um, just go on Instagram and answer these five questions. 
I love it. I want to see your answers. You're always so thoughtful and just so just I don't know. I love your, I love your thinking. You put a lot of thought into things. So I'm just curious to see what your um, answers would be on some of these questions. All of them. Okay. And then I'm also tagging Abigail Marie, Jenny, the uncrafty crafter and Elizabeth Ensley. I want all these people. If y'all haven't done it already, tag you are it. So I'm looking forward to seeing some of those, all of those, whoever wants to participate, please do. Um, it was fun. It was fun to sit down and really think it through and think how you would answer each one. Yeah. So it was, it was a lot of fun. So thanks Jeremy for tagging me. I feel included now. I was feeling left out. I was feeling FOMO, tag FOMO. All right, y'all, this is moving right along. All right. So we did that. Check that off my list. Let's talk about what's going on here. Let's talk about the house and the kids and the dogs and all the things. Um, okay. Jasper, he just snorted. He's like, I guess we're, oh, I guess we're bothering him. Sorry, Jasper. I'm going to get a sip little, I'm going to get a sip. I'm going to get a quick sip of coffee. Y'all. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm going too fast. I just get so excited doing these whipping chats. I can't control myself. All right. Um, last time we talked was Wednesday slash Thursday. Okay. The kids had off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Monday was Labor Day here in the States. And, um, they just kind of tied in Friday and made it a, um, a, uh, in-service day. So the teachers had to work, but the kids got off so they could have a four day weekend. If anybody wanted to travel or go anywhere, we did not go anywhere, but, um, so the kids had off Friday. So because they had off Friday, um, Lou wanted a sleepover Thursday night. So we kicked off the weekend with a sleepover and we had two sleepovers over here in the course of those four days. So much for, uh, the one a week rule that we had, but the, I think that was just over the summer because things were getting out of hand. But now that school's back, she's not having them very often because she can't. They're school nights now. Yay. Okay. So she had a sleepover, um, Thursday that was Thursday night. So let me back up a little bit. I forgot. Nate, um, I woke up Nate Thursday morning for school and he was saying that the side of his head was bothering him. Now he's had this little mark on the side of his head. It's about, you know, that big and it, he's had it for a couple of years. And I've always, I always forget to mention it to the doctor. It's almost like a birthmark is what it kind of looked like. And so it never bothered him. And we never really thought to, now I feel bad, of course. I never really thought to have it looked at. Well, it looks a little bit bigger than the last time I had looked at it. And it looks irritated and not maybe a little infected, but because he's been scratching it, it's been itching. So it's almost like, and that's what the doctor was saying too. It's almost like a, a birthmark or she's not really, she wasn't 100% sure what it was. So anyways, uh, Thursday, I... Um, told him I'd call the doctor. So I called the pediatrician and they couldn't get us until the afternoon. So I went ahead and told him, you still got to go to school this morning, but I'll pick, I'll pick you up for the doctor's appointment. So I made him go to school for a little bit, um, and picked him up. And then we took him to the pediatrician and she basically told us and from looking at it, she's like, I'm going to refer you to a dermatologist, a pediatric dermatologist, because I'm just not sure. She goes, but don't be worried. I don't think it's cancer. I'm like, what? Huh? Y'all, I mean, I almost died when she said that and talk about feeling bad. He's had this for a long time and him and I both kind of ignored it. We didn't think anything of it. We're like, oh, it's just a little, a little mark on the side of your head. You know, you couldn't see it with his hair. <sighs> so as soon as we got home, I called the dermatologist to make an appointment and they can't see us till the 20th, I think is his appointment is. So we have to wait. And so I'll keep y'all posted um, I hope it's nothing serious. I hope it's just something that they just give us some cream and gets rid of it. And it's just like a, or maybe they can remove it. I don't know if it's a wart. I don't know what it is. No clue, but it has like a little scab on it. Cause he's been like itching it. So I hope this isn't grossing y'all out. So anyways, that was, um, part of Thursday. So after that, um, you know, cause Nate and I haven't hung out in a while. And he's kind of my gamer. He's one that's kind of, you know, 
really easygoing, doesn't say too much, doesn't make a big fuss, and you know, he's just always in his room and kind of quiet. So I said, but here's the deal. I said, buddy, before we go home, I was planning on going to Costco because I need a few things. I said, but just a couple things. So I thought he was gonna complain. He's like, okay. I was like, okay. So he really wanted to hang out with me. So, or maybe he thought he was gonna get something out of it. I don't know. <laughs> so um, we went to Costco and he was so helpful. And I thanked him for all of his help. And he's like, hey, you can, you can take me out of school anytime whenever you need to go to Costco. I'm like, I wish. He pushed the cart for me. He loaded the big heavy cases of waters into the cart. And he unloaded, I just put the cart back for me. He was awesome awesome helper. I really, really appreciated all of himself. And then we got home. He helped me unload. I was like, this is nice. I'm used to doing all this stuff by myself. So he, um, it was a huge help. After that, we, um, I said, I need to get gas. He's like, okay, let's go. And so we went to the gas station. I said, Hey, cause he just turned 15 and I know he's going to be driving soon. And I was like, Hey, do you want to learn? Oh, we've got a brown one in here. Um, I said, Hey, do you want to learn how to pump gas? He's like, Oh, I already know how. Like, okay. So I got some gas at Costco. And then um, after that, he's, um, I needed to go to Target for something. And Nate collects, or he used to, and he still does. He's made a lot of money off of it. He collects, um, they're called Pokemon cards. A lot of the kids are into them. Um, they were even a thing when we were kids, but they've come back again. And a lot of people are looking for like certain cards and their collector's items. And he has sold some online and, uh, he's made a little bit of money over the past, you know, year, but he, um, kind of stopped selling them and kind of slowed down collecting them. So whenever we go to Target, cause Target carries them when they have them, but they're really hard to find the new ones that come out. Every time we go to Target, we go and look at that aisle just to look, just to say we did. And they never have anything. Well, that was not the case. We walk up and the guy is actually stocking the shelves. They had just got them in. It was like his lucky day. Cause if I would have been alone, I wouldn't have looked. And if I, sometimes I do look for him, I wouldn't have known what to get. I would, I don't know what, what new, you know, what's what anymore. I, don't, I know, I know a little bit about it cause we bought some for him, like for birthday presents and stuff and Christmas, but I don't know really what he would have wanted. So he was so pumped y'all. He was so excited. I'm so happy that he got to, and he, he saved up some money. So he had some money and he bought some kits and he only opened up one of the little ones. He saved these tins that are worth like a ton of money and he's going to save them. And he put them in his closet with all of his other boxes that he has. And he's just going to keep them one day. And he's like, I'm going to keep them for years until they appreciate, um, and value. And I'm going to sell them one day when they're, you know, very, very hard to get. I was like, okay. So he's got a plan. He's investing in the future. But we just had some great conversations about, you know, his whole philosophy on things and driving. And he tells me, he's like, mom, you know, when I turn 16, I don't even know if I'm going to drive that much. I don't know. And I'm like, yeah, you say that now. We'll, we'll see. He said, your brother was the same way when he was 15. And then, you know, when he started having friends that started driving, it all changed. And Nate's a little bit older because he repeated um, third grade. So he's like the oldest out of his group of friends. So he'll probably be the first one to drive. So he doesn't have any friends that are, uh, that are driving yet or will be anytime soon. He just turned 15 in August and a lot of them are, you know, still 14. So, um, yeah, it was just funny and hearing his philosophy on, you know, Costco and, and how they make money and, and why you're able to return anything at any time. And, you know, it doesn't hurt Costco. It just hurts, you know, it just goes back to the company that, you know, they bought it from. So it was pretty, he's got, he's very, you know, he puts a lot of thought into things. And I love that he doesn't sit on his phone <clears throat> like his older brother. He actually will talk to me the entire time. And he's so nice to hang out with. He's like hanging out with Lou, you know, they're, and they look, they're like twins. They look so much alike. I don't know if I ever told y'all that, but Nate and Lou are, they're like, she's like the female version of him. She, they look, they look so much alike. I remember when she was born, I was like, she looks just like Nate. She really does. So Nate and Ryan, um, no, so Nate and Lou both look like my husband and Ryan looks like me. So that's kind of, we, that's the breakdown of who look, who looks like who. Um, okay. So that was Thursday. Um, let's see what else did we do. And then Friday, you know, there was no school. So Lou and her best friend are plotting, you know, what are they going to do today? Um, 
Oh, I know. I said, so her friend that spent the night Thursday night was not her best friend. It was another little girl that lives in the neighborhood. So she stayed all next day. And then the best friend came over. So there was three little girls here all day. And they were like, take us somewhere. Take us somewhere. Okay. So they're like, can we go to Starbucks? So we went to Starbucks. And then um, after that, they wanted to go to a park. So we came home. They packed their bathing suits because this park that they like to go to, we haven't, we haven't been to it in a long time. They have a splash pad that's connected to it. And a splash pad is like where all the water splashes up. And there was no one at the park at the playground, which is perfect. Cause you know, it was a hundred degrees outside. Who's going to be, and it was a Friday, but you know, a lot of kids I thought had out of school like we did, but I think cause it was just so hot. So we got there. Um, we were at that park for about, I don't know, two and a half, three hours. It was fun. I brought this painting with me. I had, I found a picnic bench that was covered. Um, it wasn't too bad. And I was just, and then they'd go to the splash pad and I'd, I'd pack up my stuff and walk over there and then sit down, dime paint. Then they would, you know, want to go back to the park and every time they'd get hot and then dry off, they would just kind of go back and forth, but they had a great time. Uh, one of the little girls, not her best friend, but the other one had to um, get picked up by her mom because she had somewhere to go. So the mom picked her up. And, um, then I just had the two of them left. And after that, that was Friday. And I was, we were there and it was like, after it was, you know, after five, by the time we left and I thought, Oh, what are we going to do for dinner? I'm like, it's Friday. Are we going to do pizza? And sure enough, y'all, we did pizza. So I did not have to cook. So good. I love it. I love Fridays. You know, you're, I'm tired. I'm tired by the end of the week. You know, I have to get up every morning at six and by Friday I'm tired. I'm just, I'm, I'm, my goose is cooked. I'm like, I'm done. And I just don't want to make dinner. And I just want to like have a glass of wine, kick back and, you know, start the weekend off. So Fridays are fun. So that's so Friday, um, we had pizza and then Saturday, um, as y'all saw, maybe my, if you watched that road trip video that I did the craftably, I went to craftably, um, I didn't get there till they said they didn't need me till around noon. And this time they were going to be at their storefront at the shop. So I had a lot of paintings to return to them that I had done product reviews for. So it worked out good. So I pulled up, I got there about mm, one by the time I got there. Um, it's an hour drive, so it takes a little while. Kind of got a late start, but I made it there. And y'all saw my little haul, but what we did was, if y'all haven't seen the videos, um, or the video that I did, um, it was a little different this time. So they're renovating, they, they bought the, the store next to them and then they took out the wall and they're renovating that space for parties and for more, you know, shop, you know, floored so they can have more areas to sell things and they needed more space. And it's amazing. You guys seeing their small space that they used to have before their warehouse, they did everything out of that storefront out of that shop. That's where the diamond paintings were stored. That's where everything was done. Shipping, I mean, everything. And then now you see their big warehouse and you're like, wow, they have really grown. It's so cool to see a company grow like that and you know, start so small and just how big they've gotten. And they're still so humble and so kind. And so, you know, just all the things. I just, I love them. They're really, really good people. So Amy and I, um, so she goes, okay, I'm going to have you paint. I was like, oh gosh, okay. Y'all, I, I, I don't really know how to paint that well. And I haven't painted in a really long time. So she's like, it's just primer. You can't really do anything wrong. I was like, okay. So I primed the wall and then the little wall next to it. And it took me a couple hours just to do that because I had to move some stuff around and there were some, you know, cobwebs and spiders and in the corner. And, and of course we were talking and, you know, probably stopped working for a little bit while we were talking but I got that done. And then what her vision is going to be is, um, all the craftably colors, you know, they have the purples and the teals and the pinks and kind of the mint green. Um, and they're, they're thinking that she's going to have like, so the wall was almost like those, um, cement blocks. And so like concrete almost, and it had like little seams in it. It looks like bricks. So we started painting. Um, and he's like, I want the, the colored squares to just kind of flow up. And it's going to look so good. I wish I could have stayed longer or got more done, but I was spending so much time priming, you know, priming the walls because the wall was a bright blue before it was blue. And then it had a bright lime green strip on the top and it was a computer, a computer store before, but Oh, the colors were bad, but, um, they're really bright. 
So we just did it all white. And like I said, we started doing the squares. What was hard is trying to keep it all straight and not get, you know, the colors into other colors, other squares, but I tried. So I got a little bit done. I did some blue squares for her. And then, um, you know, I filmed that quick video before I headed out and gave them back their paintings and did a little shopping and that was it. So, but I was a little worn out on Saturday. By the time I got home, it was, uh, I was on my way home. And I told my husband, I'm on the way home. He's like, hey, what do you want to do for dinner? At this point, it's like almost seven, you know, by the time I'm almost home. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. I was kind of hoping y'all had figured that out. He's like, no. So I was like, okay, well, do you want me to pick up something? We did not eat very healthy this 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 past week. I'm realizing once I start writing notes down of like kind of what happened this week, I'm like, okay, we had, um, oh, so Thursday, I forgot to point this out. We had Cane's. Cane's is like fast food chicken strips. Okay. So we had Cane's. And then Friday was pizza. And then Saturday, we went to Chipotle. It's Mexican food. Another fast food place. <laughs> I just, I guess I didn't go to the store much last week. So we didn't have a lot of food. So I need to do a better job of like, I'm really good. Well, I'm not really good. Sometimes I'm good at meal planning. Now, I don't know. I'm not good at cooking. But sometimes I'll plan meals and have them kind of planned out and have it shopped for. But I, this week or last week, I just didn't do that. Um, and this week, I haven't really done a very good job either. But um, so I stopped at Chipotle and I grabbed some burrito bowls and quesadillas and, every, you know, things for everybody. And then um, so my shoulder, when I woke up Sunday morning, my shoulder was really sore. I think it was from all the painting because I had like one of those rollers. Um, I actually broke my shoulder when I was a kid. And it was my right shoulder. Um, I was, um, we had a trampoline in our backyard. And, you know, when someone, someone double bounces you, someone else will jump on it and you go flying. Or I think they call it popcorn too. Well, I went flying. And this was back in the day when um, trampolines did not have the netting around it. That wasn't a thing really. So I went flying off the trampoline. And to catch myself, I landed on the ground and I had my arms back. And to catch myself, I landed, you know, kind of, tweaked my shoulder and I uh, broke it. So Sunday, my shoulder was really sore. I think from just, you know, the painting and from just that injury that I had, you know, from a kid, but, um, I, you know, I just took some ibuprofen and I was fine. Um, so Sunday I did laundry cause you know, I was gone all day, you know, Saturday. So I did laundry and dishes and that's the one thing y'all when you're gone for the day, um, and again, I appreciate the time away. I appreciate that my husband is so supportive and, you know, watches the kids when I'm gone on Saturdays to do all the craftably stuff that I do. But y'all, the house is a freaking mess when I get home. <laughs> it's a mess. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so messy. And I don't really like messes. I guess that the OCD kicks in. I don't know. Oh, there's stuff everywhere. And so I spent Sunday just stressing out and trying to clean up from, you know, being gone all day Saturday and all the shenanigans that had happened and all the messes that were made and there was stuff everywhere. And Lou had had friends over all day and was all over the place and there was, you know, kid stuff everywhere, toys, and they had been playing and Barbies and it was just a lot. Slime making. She was having a good time with all her birthday presents that she got. Her and her uh, best friend uh, tie-dyed shirts last night or night before last with um, a tie-dye kit that she got for her birthday. And I'm washing them right now by themselves. By the way, my husband asked me, you didn't wash them with anything else, did you? I'm like, yes, a load of your clothes. Of course I didn't wash them with anything else. They're tie-dyed shirts. But I guess he's got to ask just to make sure. You never know with me. So that was Sunday. So Sunday was laundry and dishes. And then um, Sunday night, Lou's like, can I have a sleepover? There's no school tomorrow. I was like, yep. So her best friend spent the night and what did we have for dinner Sunday? Oh gosh, I don't even remember. It's pretty bad y'all. I cannot remember. Anyways, I'm sure it was fast food. Oh, it was McDonald's. <laughs> we sure did. Oh my God. So bad. We're not eating the healthiest around here y'all. Anyways, we had McDonald's. The kids were super pumped. They're like, yay. McDonald's. So they got McDonald's and then 
Uh, my husband's like, if you, because they'd been playing in the room all day and playing Barbies. And he's like, hey, if y'all clean up your room, I'll take you to Walmart after dinner and you can get some candy for like if you want to watch a movie tonight for the sleepover. Well, that's all they needed to hear. And so they spent a little time cleaning up and organizing her room. They hung up all loose shirts in color coded order. They were playing for the most part, playing, doing that, but that's fine. At least they were putting clothes on hangers. Um, I normally just put her clothes in the drawer. I'm too lazy to hang up stuff, and she's not going to hang it up. Well, I guess we are now. They're all color-coordinated, but they organized and cleaned her room. And then Sunday, um, what else? Okay, so Monday, there was no school, right? So Monday morning, they wake up, and they ask if I take them to Dunkin' Donuts. We go to Dunkin' Donuts, and they get a donut. And then we come home, and they play, 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 play. And then that's when they did the tie-dye shirts. And like I said, they turned out really good. So what else happened on Monday? Yeah, that was it. Oh, oh gosh, y'all. I needed to go to Target again for something, right? Or no, they said they wanted to go to Target. I was like, okay, y'all have a $10 budget because that's how much money her best friend's mom gave them. She gave her daughter $10. And I'm like, okay, Lou, you, get, you have $10. Y'all trying to keep them on a $10 budget? We were there for an hour and a half. And it took so long because they kept they couldn't decide what they wanted and everything was more than $10. And I had to keep like, you know, having the conversation to put that back. You got to pick, you got to decide what you want out of all the stuff you put in the basket. You only have $10 because I kept putting stuff in going, we're going to put everything in and then we're going to decide what we're going to take out. Oh, they were looking at baby clothes, like real baby clothes. Cause they have like, you know, baby. Oh, that was another thing. Oh my gosh, you guys, I should have taken a picture. It was so embarrassing. Okay. So Lou and her best friend went through a phase and a lot of the little girls in the neighborhood, um, during the panoramic, like first, like when it first happened the first month or so, they all were getting these babies that look lifelike. I forget what they're called. There's a name for them. Reborns. They're called reborns. And these babies look real, like, but they're creepy, creepy real though. Ugh. If y'all have a reborn, I, I, I'm sorry, but the ones that she was looking at were, they were creepy. I mean, they look real and it's just, that's just strange for a baby doll, for a fake baby to look that real. And their hair is kind of strange. So all the little girls were getting these reborn dolls. So they haven't really played with them much. But here lately, they started playing with them again, which is great. We spent all this money on these dolls and clothes, you know, real doll clothes. And so when they want to go to Target, they want to bring their babies. I was like, okay. I said, but I'm not carrying them. I am not going to carry these dolls. If y'all are going to bring them in the store, they're, you got, they're yours. You deal, you're dealing with them. So, okay, we will, we will. We're going to put them in the cart. Okay. Well, I didn't think about that. They put them in the, the Target cart. As soon as we got there, I parked right next to one of the Target, the, the cart returns. So they put both of their babies, because, you know, there's two little leg holes for a kid. They put one baby in one leg hole and another baby. And these are the, again, creepy dolls. Who ends up pushing the cart? Mm-hmm. You know how many people made a comment about my dolls and about my babies? And then the girls are off way in front of me in a, in a different aisle, like next to me or off looking at stuff. And I'm not right next to them. People probably thought I was some crazy lady with some fake babies with no kids around me. I mean, who? I, it did look like I didn't even have any kids with me sometimes. And people could, oh, they're so well behaved. They're so good. I was so embarrassed. You guys. <laughs> oh, I should take pictures of these babies. I will. Editing Shay. Okay. I got to y'all. You got to see these babies. <laughs> oh, and they had like real baby clothes on and they got their pacifiers and all their things. Oh yeah. Socks and shoes and the whole nine yards. Oh, so here we are walking on Target and everyone's making these funny comments and laughing and smiling. And I can see these couples whispering to each other about, oh my gosh, look at those babies. They look so real. And I was like, oh my God. And then what are they saying about me? Right? Oh, the babies. Okay, y'all, I'm done with this section. Oh, wait, I'm not done. I got this little piece right here I got to do. I got so excited thinking I was done. But that's okay, because we got a few more minutes. All right, I think we do. We're, I can't tell with all the different video clips because I kept pausing. All right, what else? Um, okay, so that was the babies at Target. Very, very, very embarrassing. But we made it out of there, and they only spent $10 each, finally. I don't even remember what they bought. Oh, they bought matching... A matching um so her best friend had a skirt already that she bought at target so lou bought the matching skirt 
So, and then they bought a matching shirt together. And skirt didn't count because I was like, I'm like, ah, oh, school clothes, I'll pay for that. But they, this, they bought a matching pink sweater. So that was their money. But at least they didn't spend it on toys. And then they bought these little hair clips. I chipped in on those. I was like, y'all can get those. They're just a few bucks. Okay, so um, that was Monday. So yesterday I had to go to the doctor and um, get my physical results from all that blood work that I had done before. And I have very low sodium, apparently, and she's not happy. She doesn't like the numbers. I'm like, I eat salty tortilla chips almost every day. How can, my husband's like, how could you have low sodium? I'm like, I don't know. She thinks it's some of the other meds that I'm taking that my psychiatrist has me on. So, but she wasn't gonna mess with any of those. You know, that's my psychiatrist's, you know, job to do that. And uh, I meet with my psychiatrist tomorrow, I think it is. So we'll have to discuss my low sodium, but I have all those results that I've already emailed to her. So yeah, but the thyroid looked good and um, it was all good. Although I didn't like seeing my weight on the scale at a doctor's office, that's never fun. But it is what it is, y'all. Yep, oh well, put on a little bit of weight. That's okay though. All right, did I, did I do it? Let me zoom y'all out so you can see what she looks like. Oh my gosh. Look at how cute she's looking. Look at all these pumpkins. Y'all, this, this painting has been pretty confetti heavy. I have to say. We're going to take this stuff off so I can move her down real quick and y'all can see her. Yay. Hi, little witch. She's so cute. And I have replaced um, some, because it doesn't come with any ABs, but I did add some. There she is. Yeah. It looks really good. This is a Star Ore painting and I'm really happy with it. I haven't had any issues. The quality's been really, really good. Okay, so that was yesterday. And then um, today, Jasper had a doctor. He had a vet appointment this morning. So him and I went to the vet. He had to have some shots and some lab work done and a physical. And they said he looks great. So yeah, so everyone's hanging in there. Ryan's um, Ryan just told me last night that he wants to go to homecoming. And if you're not familiar with homecoming, homecoming is a dance, um, like a, um, it's a big Texas thing. There's a, a, a big football game. There's the big dance that they go to. There's, there's, they go to dinner beforehand. There's pictures. They all get dressed up. Um, and I didn't think he was going because it's September 18th and he went his freshman year with a girl, with a friend. He didn't do it last year and he hadn't said anything about it this year and he doesn't have a girlfriend. I'm like, he's not going to homecoming because typically the boys ask the girls and they make a huge to do out of it. They make signs, there's candy, there's flowers, there's stuffed animals, teddy bears, you name it. it, it it's a big deal. And then um, there's mums. I think, and I don't know if y'all have talked about this before, but there's mums. It's like these big flowered corsages looking and they have all these like ribbons hanging from it. It's like, it, it's a lot. The freshman year that Ryan went with a girl, we spent a hundred dollars on this mum for her. So the, the boy buys this for the girl. And of course the, the parents of the boy pay for it. And then the girl um, buys him a little like boutonniere, like to put on his arm, but it's a lot smaller than this big old thing that the girls get. So, um, but he just informed me last night. Yeah. Today's, and that's uh, September 7th. He informed me that he's going to the dance. He's going to homecoming. I'm like, say what? You, you, he goes, yeah, I need to buy all new clothes. I need to buy a sports jacket some dress pants, a belt, a shirt, shoes, the whole deal. He goes, it's probably going to be expensive. And I'm thinking, okay, this is going to be something you're probably going to wear one time. I said, can you go back and see if the stuff you wore your freshman year will fit or will work? No, he said, I, I, I want a different theme this year. All my buddies, because they're just going to go like a big group of guys and maybe some girls, I guess a few of the boys have girlfriends, but um, a big group of his friends, they're all going to go together. And he goes, we kind of have a theme, oh, but y'all, I was so proud of him. He said he went, was going was gonna to go shopping with his buddy last night. So he goes, he comes home. He was gone for a couple hours and he went to Kohl's. Kohl's is like, it's a, it's a, it's a department store, but it's like, um, it's not a, super expensive. So I was proud of him because he was using one of our credit cards. Um, you know, cause he doesn't have that kind of money to buy, you know, that to buy clothes for this. And I just told him, please don't spend a lot and be, you know, just think about what you're doing and try to, you know, not go crazy. So I was proud of him. He didn't go to the mall. He didn't go, you know, and he didn't go to any expensive stores. So he went to Kohl's, him and his buddy. And y'all get this. The cutest part of all of everything was he goes, yeah. I'm like, so how much was it? And he told me, and it was actually was a lot less than what I was expecting him to spend. So I was proud of him. He goes, yeah. And, uh, and my, my friend had a 20% off coupon that I was able to use. <laughs> 
I loved it. He was able to use the coupon and he looks so handsome, you guys. He put, he got these gray dress pants, these gray slacks with a white button up shirt and then a, a gray, uh, a jacket that matches it. And so, and he found, he found a belt that he had, um, already. So, I mean, he told me he ordered shoes last night online that are coming. So I didn't, I thought I was going to have to take him shopping and deal all, but nope. And I don't think we have to buy a mum because there's no girl involved. So yeah, it sounds like he's going to go. And that's something that I didn't want him to miss out on, but it's also, you know, totally up to him, you know, if he wants to do it or not, but it's a big Texas tradition homecoming. So yeah, I think that's it. You guys, I've caught you up. I've talked your ear off. Um, I got my painting done for as far as I wanted to get. This is awesome. I'm going to roll it with my roller a little bit because I keep kind of feeling little. Whoop, yeah, that one just came off. I got to be careful not to rub it too hard. That's what she said. Okay, you guys. With that, I am going to say goodbye. And um, for those of y'all that have subscribed already, thank you. And if you haven't subscribed, um, there's a subscribe down below, down below. Go ahead and click on that and the notification bell next to that and you'll be all set with me and if you enjoyed this give me a thumbs up and that's it all right you guys i love you take care and i will see you in the next one okay bye guys